Your sins are between you and Allah. And I get it. You want to show the world how happy you are that you've met someone that you love and you genuinely care about and you're concerned about and just there. But that's not the right way to do it. You know the right way to expose that? is through a walima. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and... Oh, my oh. That you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. What in the world is happening to my beloved bro, Adam Saleh? Look, a community member of mine on Instagram reached out to me and they showed me a video. That was disturbing to say none the least. And the reason I'm saying it's disturbing is after I show you a bit of it because I don't want to expose too much of this. Even though my, my, my G is doing it himself, I don't want to add on to that if, if you sort of get my drift. They showed me a video of that and uh, the video, t uh, you know, and, and the message itself was just like, you know, SQ, you got to address this for the youth because a lot of youth follow him and this and that. And if they see him having a girlfriend, making out with his girlfriend, this and that, they're going to want to think, well, they're going to want to do it themselves. And I'm letting them know and you know that you're going to do it if you want to do it, whether Adam Saleh does it or not. Okay, Adam Saleh is not your role model. Okay, you're gonna find a way to justify it. And if you want to use Adam Saleh to justify your sins and you doing what's right from wrong and you knowing what's right from wrong and using a celebrity or using a brother that you know and see them do it and you want to justify yourself, shame on you. Honestly, shame on you. And I don't use words like shame on you, but like, you're, like you're being you're being a lame right now. Like if you know something is wrong. You're finding a way to justify and you're going to use another person? At least admit that, listen, I know it's wrong, but you know what? My nuffs, I, I'm inclined to my nuffs. Say that. But don't try to blame Adam Saleh for your you know, faults or your desires. Okay, let's just get that out there. The second thing I want to get out right now is the fact that I'm disappointed that you guys aren't following me on Instagram. You gotta follow me on the gram because that's where all the fun happens. Daily Islamic reminders, all these motivational things happen on Instagram mostly. On YouTube, I'm posting like three times a week, but on Instagram, I'm posting like every single day. So check me out on Instagram. Uh, it's a must. It's an absolute must. And I'm not just saying that, it's an absolute must. I'm one of the recommended Muslim uh, pages to, to, to follow according to Instagram as well too. That's a real thing. All right. You see, I'm coming from a place right now not to shame Adam, okay, because that's not my place. I feel like there's certain people who look for faults as if there's a prize. You know what I mean? Like there's certain people who look for faults in others as if they're going to get a prize at the end of it. But that's not who I am and that's not what this is about. You see, I can vibe with Adam a lot more than maybe the average person can because I'm going to show you a picture right here as I blur it out uh, that I found of me kissing a girl that that I posted, not, not on my social, but like I have, like myself. I'm gonna post it like right here. Uh, it's blurred obviously because I don't want you to see it, but you can imagine what it is. And the reason I blurred it is because I could, I'm okay with talking about a sin so that you can learn a life lesson, but exposing a sin and showing you what I've done, it's just unnecessary. Like that, that, that's, you don't really need to know all that sort of stuff, okay? You don't know what it's like to feel in love. Right? Unless you've been there, then you know, you could catch my vibe. But unless you like know what it feels like to be in love, and honestly, no, no lie, just the way he was with that girl, this man's in love. You know what I mean? Adam's in love. You know what I mean? I, I think that's why I need to change the video too. Adam Saleh's in love more than, you know, what's, what's happened to Adam Saleh. The reason I'm sharing that with you is because when you're in love, you make a lot of decisions that are, you feel instinctive, you feel very emotional. But one of the biggest things to, to do if you're in love is you want to just claim this person, right? Like you want everyone to know that this is my girl, this is my boo, this is my bae, like whatever. You want to claim this person. And the reason you're doing that is because you're in love with this person. And honestly, I don't know the dude that well. Inshallah, maybe that does happen. Because uh, he's a cool brother, man. Like may Allah bless him nonetheless. Um, you could tell that he's there. And I've been there. I've been to the point where I wanted to show the world who's, who's mine and finally show the world like I found someone good and I want other people to share with my happiness. But here's the facts. A lot of people aren't going to be happy for you. They're just not, you know? And um, it feels good to be able to 
kiss someone and take a picture of that or a video of that because it's a memory for you. It's a memory in your mind. It's a physical memory as well. And it, and it feels nice, you know, and maybe even posting it. It feels good because other people get to see your happiness, you know. But the first thing is that a lot of people are not going to be happy for you. And, and we should be worried about the ayn and the hasad that, you know, that comes about from this. I think you all seen that picture on social media of that guy who posted his horse, uh, how proud he was of his horse and how much he loved him and then his horse died the next day. SubhanAllah, ayn and hasad is a real thing, okay? So I pray obviously that Adam's relationship goes well, but just know that if, if things start falling apart of it, ayn and hasad is a real thing. The next thing is this. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this person is his girlfriend. I don't know, right? Like maybe they had their kitab done, right? Maybe that they've had their nikah done. Maybe that's his wife. I don't know these things, you know what I mean? And, I, and it's wrong for me, and it's wrong for all of us. Pause. It's wrong for all of us to assume negatively of Adam. It's, and anyone else that you see, you know, our first thought should be like, hey, they're married together. Did we see a ring? No, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Did we see uh, see pictures of a walima? You know, that's what the purpose of a walima is. The walima is so important is to let the world know that you're married. You understand? Know that's why the walima is important. But nonetheless, um, I'm I'm letting you know this right now that if you guys are out there in a situation right now where you are in a relationship with someone that you love, I want to ask you a question right now: Is what's stopping you from making it halal? Like, what's stopping you? Really, ask yourself: What's stopping you? Are you not financially ready to make a halal? If that's the case, then why are you even dating this person? Or do you feel like your parents won't agree to it? If that's the case, why are you dating this person? Uh, do you feel like perhaps, uh, you know, there's other issues. If there's other issues, why isn't your first priority addressing those issues instead of getting yourself more infatuated with the person that you may not even be able to be with? And once that breakup happens, boy oh boy, subhanAllah, I wish I wish nothing upon anyone, nothing upon anyone as bad as a breakup is. A breakup destroys a person. And anyone who's been through one knows what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But I, 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 will, I will say this, right? If you genuinely love someone, what's stopping you from marrying them? Do you not think they're worth it? Do you not, like, are you having more fun? See, the shaitan has tricked us. He makes us feel like it's more fun to just sleep around with people and have fun with people instead of honoring them and marrying them. That's the plot of the shaitan. The, the shaitan wants to immediately interfere in your marriage. He wants, to, he wants you to start it off in a haram way and then try to make it halal. And then while it's halal, destroy your marriage. That's his plan. The shaitan loves nothing more than destroying marriages, breaking people up. He loves nothing more than that. So I'm asking you out there, person who's watching this video, if you're in a situation similar to Adam or a similar situation that I've been in, in the past, what's stopping you? What's stopping you from making it halal? Is it your family? Then why aren't you spending every single effort that you have to make it halal? Convince your parents. Make it happen. If you haven't seen the video from before, I'm going to link it right up over here about you know, how to make a breakthrough and, 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 and change your life. Watch that video. When are you going to decide to make it halal? Then when are you going to commit to make it halal? When are you going to make the resolutions to make it halal? And when are you going to take the massive action to make it halal? But the truth of the matter is, you're just a child inside trying to play with a person's emotion. SQ, no, that's not who I am. Prove me wrong. Marry them. Marry them. Send me an invitation to your wedding. I'll come. I'll make a special appearance. I'll come to your wedding. I'll be there. But why aren't you making a halal? Oh, my parents, my this and that. Then why are you wasting your time leading someone on if you know that you can't even convince your parents? You can't convince your parents, yet you're going to try to marry someone? You're not ready for marriage. You're not. You're not ready to get married. If the first thought in your mind is my parents are going to accept me, then you're not grown enough to be married, son. You're a baby. I'm going to do the Westbrook. You're a baby. This is the Westbrook. You're a baby. You're not ready for marriage. You're not mar ready for marriage, bro. If your biggest concern is, but my mama won't. Blah, blah, blah. But your mama? Grow up. Grow a pair, actually. SubhanAllah. Come on now. If, you're, if you can't even deal with your family and that gives you anxiety of talking to your family and your parents about getting married, you're not ready. You're not ready for marriage at all. You're still a baby. And I, I'd recommend you emotionally and mentally and spiritually mature up before you even talk to this person and ruin their lives and lead them on because we both know you ain't going to marry them. Because if you could, you would have. Prove me wrong. 
Prove me wrong. See, that's the thing. A lot of us aren't doing things the right way. The Messenger Sallallahu taught us that, you know, if, if good proposals come to us, to the families, and you don't accept them, there will be fasad and fitna in the world. There's fasad and fitna in the world right now because good proposals come to the parents, but they reject them because they don't meet their standards. It's a shame. But the truth of the matter is this, right? And this is to Adam and this is to anyone else, right? If you're committing a sin on the DL, on the low, don't expose it. Right? Your sins are between you and Allah. And I get it. You want to show the world how happy you are that you've met someone that you love and you genuinely care about and you're concerned about and just there. But that's not the right way to do it. You know the right way to expose that? It's through a walima. That's the right way to expose it. A walima. A walima shows the world that she's mine. He's mine. Take that world. Not a ring, but a walima. That's the correct way to do it Islamically. Then post all you want to post, bro. Post all you want, and I promise you, you wouldn't probably even want to display those sort of things in public. You'll do that in public to your wife, with your spouse. You'll do that with them, but it won't be on camera because it's so genuine and sincere that no camera could capture the beauty and the, and the vibe that you feel for your spouse. So if anyone's out there in a haram relationship right now, get out of it by making it halal. By doing what it takes, commit to making it halal. That's number one. Number two, if you're in this relationship, don't expose it to people. Don't brag about it. Don't show about it. You should be embarrassed about it, to be honest with you. And if you're not embarrassed about it, there's something up in here. You feel me? You feel me right now? There's something up in here. Check yourself. Check what's going up in here. If this is not bothering you, if the haram relationship doesn't bother you, if it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't concern you, something wrong in here. It should bother us. It should concern us. So my advice to my, my bro Adam, a doomy gang all day, I be playing around. You know, you've seen my other videos. I'm going to link them right here, right? I, I have fun at Adam. And I, I, I honestly have nothing but love for these brothers. You know what I mean? But I'm letting you know to, to Adam, you know what I mean? Ayn and Hasid is a real thing, bro. Don't expose your, your relationship with this, with this girl, maybe soon to be wifey. You know what I mean? Don't do that because a lot of people wish they had what you had. And all it takes is someone to have that jealous eye. They might not even want to do it. You know, they might not even be that way, but it just comes out of them. And they'll just put Ayn on you, Hasid on you. Next thing you know, you're fighting, you're breaking up, and everything is there. And if that happens, come to your boy. I got, I got, I got, the, I got the advice for y'all, man. I got the advice for you guys. Um, and anyone else out there, you know what I mean? Wish them well. Wish them the best. Uh, but don't expose yourself. Don't expose your sins. Don't expose these things to the people. Fear Allah and do things the correct way. Expose yourself in your walima. Post that. Let that go viral. I love that. You know, holding your hands. And I'll tell you this true story. When I was doing all this haram stuff like that, wallahi, I wasn't on the deen at all. But I was always looking over my shoulder to see if someone seen me, someone I knew seen me, you know. And some people might not even care, and that's a bad thing. You know, like you should care. You should care about your perception and your image. The Messenger Sallallahu uh, Alaihi was once saw by a companion with his wife, right? And uh, he came up to the companion and told the companion, you know, that that's, that's my wife. And the companions like, Ya Rasulullah, like, I would never like doubt anything else. But he's, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi went out of his way to show that person to remove any doubt because the shaitan could come and put ideas in his head. You understand? So I remember I would look over my shoulders to make sure that no one sees me. But Wallahi, the day I married my wife, I had my nikah done with her. I was holding her hand with pride. I wanted people to see me. I wanted people to see me because I, ne I needed to show them that this is halal. And wallahi, my heart felt better when it was halal. And I, and I know, Adam, I know, Adam, and everyone else that's dealing with this right now, that your heart and your pride will feel more as it should because you deserve to be because that's your mahram. That's your, that's your wife. That's your spouse. That's your husband. You know, you should be proud. Uh, but that's going to happen once you have the nikah. The nikah vibe is completely different, man. You feel proud to be with them. You're not ashamed to be them. And if you are married and you are shy to be around your wife, shame on you. Be proud. Hold her hand with pride. Hold your hand with pride. You know what I mean? And be happy that you guys are together. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Hope you guys benefited from this video. This was another non-cut video because I don't need cut, son. I'm straight to the face. I tell you how it is. You know what I mean? Uh, but sometimes I like cutting it, editing it, and all that sort of stuff. But this is a different type of video. Tell me in the comment section below how you like this. Um, and anything else that you guys are dealing with. I love you all for the sake of Allah. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, uh, check out any of these videos right here. Subscribe if you made it this far. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed to me, that just means you enjoy this video enough to subscribe. So do it for the sake of Allah. Subscribe. It's free. It's free, guys. It's free. 
Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.